What's, so in your plan, were, were you going to turn that last hard 400, or were you just going to sort of feel it out? We'll just see how I feel. Uh, my aim was to just come see, test myself out. First track race since a while. So my aim was just, you know, see how it goes, just run the race. And I, I didn't know whether the guy was a pacemaker or not, so I had to ask. You opened last season with a similar race where you went to London and blasted last quarter in 50 high. Was that kind of the plan? Was to come in here tonight and get your track legs back, test your leg speed a little bit? Not really. Mine was to just run a good race here, and um, you know, I, I wasn't thinking about too much about time, but just just run it. But early on, you know, I felt all right. But you know, the, just when I was at the front, I wasn't really doing any damage. So I was just kind of wait and you know, just kick at the end. Yeah. How has the recovery been from uh, the marathon? It's been all right. Um, I'm looking forward to sort of being on the track again, and it's nice to be back on the track. Uh, marathon is completely different, uh, but you know, it's all good. You know, in life you've got to try as many things as you can. And for me, you know, last year was a big challenge. Um, I would have nice to do better, but at the same time, you know, that's what I was. And <laughs> so, was since it. this is a non-major championship year, what's your primarily goal for the rest of this year? My aim is definitely the Commonwealth, uh, and, then, and then after that, we'll decide whether I'm going to do Europeans or the rest of the stuff. Um, I've got one more race on the 12th of July, which I'm looking forward to, uh, Glasgow Diamond League. So that'll be the first big one to test myself against all the big guys, hopefully. Will you be in the 10 at the Commonwealth Games? That's what I would like to do that. Uh, it just depends, you know. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but it'd be nice to do the 5 and 10. So even uh, I believe this year is a bit different because. Um, brief is yes, you know, it's always been you start off with the 10, and the, but this year's the 5 first, so. Uh, <laughs> so you've been the king on the track. Was there any concern today returning, you know, what that would feel like in a race? Yeah, it's a different feeling. Um, it's different. Uh, I've been away so, so long from it, um, but it was good to be back on the track, and you know, I'm glad I started off, you know, low key kind of race and then um, get into the big one. Was there any concern since you hadn't run on the track, what would happen? No, because um, training's been going pretty well, um, so I was comfortable in myself and um, had a good chat with Alberto and you know, everything seems to be moving in the right direction. How much, after the one, did you say downtime for how long? Or? I, I took a couple of weeks off with my family in Hawaii for a couple of weeks and chilled out and get the, let the legs recover. You have uh, gold medals with no world records, is that on your mind at all, world records? No, definitely, um, as my, in, my, in my career, I'll be able to, you know, I want to be able to remember this, you know, the guy who made proud of his country and you know collect as many medals as I can. I know records are there to be broken, but at the same time it would be nice to get close to world record, I guess. But you know, probably the one closest, really, kind of thing. It's not off, off, uh, you know, not, not too far away. It's probably you know the, the 10k, and you know, I haven't seen Galen what he can do, and hell of a race, you know, the guy. Uh, you know, run so well, and you know, to run that fast, and um, it gives you another belief. You know, if we can work together, maybe do something. You know, maybe one day we can get closer to it. I don't know how much closer we can get to it. But, uh, Is that a realistic possibility? Maybe even later this summer, after the after the Commonwealth Games are over, that you guys might take a shot at the 10k. It depends. I think Galen can definitely go close. You know, to a lot, a lot faster than what he has run. Um, you know, having you know just the rabbits all the way. Uh, but you know that's what it's all, uh, sports is about. You know, it's about you know believing yourself, try mixing with the guys and get there. And we, uh, we're lucky to have Alberto Salazar as a coach, and you know he's, he's a great coach. He's been there, he's done it himself. So you know we're just lucky to be here, this part of the woods. What's the game plan between now and Glasgow? Is it to stay in Portland and get some work in, or is it going to go to altitude or over to Europe? Yeah, I, I want to be able to get some, some more training together. Uh, it works well for me when I go in a training camp, I just eat, sleep, train. Uh, I just got to figure it out sort of, at some point, but you know, try and get ready before Glasgow somewhere. Yeah. Probably in Europe. Fun. All right. Well, good job. Congratulations, Mo. Cool.